Wind turbines are considered a clean and sustainable source of power. One problem of wind turbines is that most wind turbine blades in use today are made from plastic composite materials. During the manufacturing process of the blades, it leaves heavy carbon footprints and produces a lot of waste, and the plastic in blades cannot be recycled to produce a new blade, but old blades and waste can only be landfilled. Before the modern wind turbine was developed in the 1980s, old-fashioned windmill blades were built out of wood. With the new technologies and machines available, it is possible to build wind turbine blades out of wood that are more sustainable and fully recyclable. The project is to build a scale model of the standard NREL reference wind turbine, which has a three-blade horizontal axis. The goal is to construct environmentally friendly wind turbine blades out of wood composites. The mechanical engineering students of our group will be doing research of comparing physical properties and sustainability of different materials and model the blades using SOLIDWORKS software and fabricate the blades and the structure of the wind turbine in the UNLV machine shop. Electrical engineering students in our group will design the controller to operate the wind turbine and control parameters such as blade pitch and generator torque and store the generated energy in a 12 volt battery. The functionality of a wind turbine is straightforward. Wind turned the blades of the wind turbine and in the module of the gearbox and the generator, the turning of the blades create electricity. This electricity is rectified with an AC to DC rectifier and stored in a 12 volt battery. The controller of the wind turbine is used to control certain parameters of the turbine, including the blade pitch and the generator torque, which are used to maximize the energy being created by the turbine. Our control design uses heavily as a reference a technical report published by NREL, the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which provides examples on the design, testing, simulation, and implementation of control systems for wind turbines. Typical wind turbine control systems consist of sensors, actuators, and a system that ties all these elements together. The purpose of the controller is to modify the operating states of the turbine to maintain safe turbine operation, maximum power output, and detecting faulty conditions. For our purposes, we will be modifying the generator torque and the blade pitch to maximize power output. The process we will use to design the controller will be to design a simple dynamic model to model the controller and test to see if it is outputting as desired. We will use specialized control tools, in our case MATLAB and Simulink, to perform simulations of the controller. Once we have adequate simulations, we can begin to produce the hardware and bench test the hardware and test the controller in the field. This image shows a block diagram of a wind turbine controller. This diagram shows a wind turbine block being simulated. This turbine block is being simulated using a software called FAST, an industry software used to model wind turbines and their control systems specifically. However, for our group, we will be using Simulink. Since Simulink has a powerful control systems toolkit which we can use to model anything we need to for the controller and it has a similar interface. As you can see with this diagram, the system is taking in multiple inputs such as generator torque, yaw position, and blade pitch, which are being fed into the system and using different blocks which represent different transfer functions, control these parameters, and as a result control the wind turbine for the purpose of, among other things, generating maximum power output. As our economy shifts to less fossil fuel intensive production and renewable energy, there will be a market for energy systems like ours. Our small scale system can be used by consumers to produce electricity for their own purposes or where electricity is not readily available.